We are Riverview Farms. We've been a family farm since 1974 when Carter Swansea purchased the farm. We are diversified. We raise grass-fed beef, pastured Berkshire pork, vegetables. We've been certified organic since 2000. We grow all of the food that our animals eat. We grow corn and soybeans for our pigs and hay and grass for our cows. On December 8th, about 1.45 in the morning, we heard what sounded like a freight train going over the house. We had a severe tornado hit our farm. The noise lasted about a minute and a half, and then it was just severe rains and wind from there. Wes went out after it somewhat subsided, and that's when he discovered all the barns were on the ground. The grain elevator was toppled, fortunately not damaging any of the grain. The hay barn uh, collapsed. The beams of the hay barn were broken in half, snapped, and the hay barn was lifted and, and dropped onto the equipment. The uh, pig barn was lifted up off of its foundation and tossed over the adjacent hay barn and landing in the pasture there next to it. When the pig's barn was blown away, it also took with it the watering mechanism that they used. One of the first things we had to do was get water for our pigs. We were without power, and so the pigs, therefore, were without water. The machinery barn, fortunately, sort of fell apart around the machinery, not damaging the equipment. The cattle barn was just snapped and tumbled, uh, destroying everything. All of these barns are important for sheltering everything that we have to do on the farm. It's the pig's home, the shelter for the food for the animals, and uh, shelter for our equipment. And now it is all gone. The insurance will cover 40% of our losses. So we are having to come up with the, the extra funds and so therefore, you know, we only build the things that are necessary. It's going to be a difficult uh, financial burden on us and a very difficult work burden on us within the next few months. Slow Food Atlanta provided volunteers to help with the cleanup 10 days after the tornado hit. Financial donations, collected by Slow Food Atlanta, helped pay for new barns. The home for the pigs was the first priority. Replacing the grain elevator was far too expensive, and instead an alternative system was constructed that moves grain in and out of the bins. Building a temporary cattle loading pen with the gates that were salvaged from the original structure was the next priority. Getting cows to the butcher and beef to the market helped with cash flow. The machinery barn and the hay barn were lower priorities, their replacement pending additional funds. Slow Food Atlanta donations helped Riverview recover. It took the care and support of the greater community to rebuild this family farm. Indeed, the farm needs us all.